Hi, this is Brian Fleming from Sucker Punch, and you're watching Moto PlayStation. Enfrentaremos a morte e defenderemos a nossa terra. Actual invasion did take place. 1274 on Comoda Beach. It, it, this all really did happen. It is different than working entirely in fiction. I think you have more to learn, right? You know, you have to surround ourselves with historians and cultural experts and the privilege of going and visiting the actual sites, which is very inspiring. The team made two trips out to Tsushima, including one to the annual celebration of the actual invasion and, and the battle that took place. Making original games, and really we've done this four times, three big ones with Sony, with Sly and Infamous and uh, now Ghost. The first game of each of those, I think is the most challenging. Everything is unknown. We wanted that experience, you know, the, the creative challenge, the technical challenge, um, the production challenge that was Ghost. We, we were ready for that, I think, after nine years of doing Infamous. It was time to do something new, to do something hard and challenging and take on a big creative mountain. When we fight, we fight Jin's character was really questioning these, the, is the central question for him of, you know, is it acceptable to hide or to attack from the shadows? I think in that way, he really represents kind of a more modern person's view. And in a lot of ways, it makes sense that the player then inhabits Jin because the way that Jin approaches things will make a lot of sense to the player. And so it becomes a, a good lens for you to experience uh, something that took place, you know, 700 years ago. Uh, he's, he's a little bit um, your representative there. And, and I think that's why he thinks that way. The original conceit of, of trying to minimize the HUD was very early and it correlates with the aesthetic of, you know, the game. The aesthetics of Japan tend to be very minimalist. The, lots of, of, of space and things are given room to breathe. The wind was, really grew out of the work that the team had done trying to deliver this kind of iconic samurai cinema, Kurosawa feel. You know, his work inspired not just us, it inspired, you know, great westerns and it inspired the Star Wars movies. Uh, you know, his, his work is so important and I hope in, in some way that, that we can help more people uh, get exposed to the tremendous talent uh, that he is. We had some trained samurai from Japan that have visited that were captured. We also had some, you know, local Seattle experts in martial arts. You know, it's not just a, a motion capture relationship, it's collaboration between us and our animation team, our gameplay team, and these experts trying to find the right balance of, you know, realism, making sure that the player uh, is powerful, but also his challenge. It's a complicated area to work in, and it took us really the entirety of the five and a half year project to uh, to find the solution that that you played uh, in the final game. It's one of the most wonderful parts of I think making games like this is is having the opportunity to choose to work with people that you know their work has is is the inspiration for what you've done so i know in early prototypes when we were uh, prototyping just moving riding the horse through the world we were using uh soundtracks from 47 ronin and the house of flying daggers and and sure enough, we get the opportunity to work with the composers who composed the scores that we were using as our inspiration. So for us, it's, it's just an incredible opportunity and we're super grateful to them for, for the tremendous work that they, they did in, in making Ghost. You should let the wind guide you, that it'll take you places uh, that are special and, and it'll take you to a great adventure. Eu sou um samurai, mas sacrificarei tudo pela minha terra.